Welcome back to another edition of The Driver Professor. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host as always, Rashid White. And uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm a professional driver. I've been doing so for 25 years, driving tractor trailers and driving buses. So, so uh, let's get into this video over here. You guys see the title, you see the thumbnail over there, man. Out of control, big trucks are causing horrible accidents. And I do kind of agree with this. And um, it could be actually even worse than this, man. But, you know, there's truly a God out there. Some, uh, you know, I believe so. And, you know, there's a lot of dumb, dumb, really stupid truck drivers out there, man. I mean, I see, I'll be, in, you know, I drive 10, 12, 11, 12 hours a day, man. The stuff I see is actually really, truly unbelievable. So let's get into this video. It actually comes from uh, Inside Edition. And they actually... Oops, hold on, I'm sorry. Yeah, they actually did a... Uh, I guess a piece on this, an article on this. So let's get into this and let's react to it. As the pressure to keep storm shells stopped left the danger on the highway, every day there are more than 5,500 accidents involving big trucks that lead to either death or injury. Can be stopped? Really Morero. They're out of control. lost his life and three children in a fiery crash when this menacing looking truck with a jaws decal slammed into their disabled SUV. He says he listened to their dying screams as their SUV was engulfed in flames. I just remember my daughter saying, there was a big truck coming. It was just horrific. It was like nothing I could ever imagine. I recall that she was killed, killed instantly. This was a sad scene at the funeral for 19-year-old Nadia Anderson. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you guys, you know, driving these trucks, man. Um, I drove them for two and a half years, truck trailers, cross country. I went to an actual driving school uh, up in Syracuse, New York, called uh, National Truck Driver School. I mean, you had all, you know, former truck drivers, retired guys actually really teaching us eight hours a day. You know, a lot of the problems is that, you know, uh, you know they, uh, the truck driving schools, like let's say in the New York City area, I mean, these guys go a couple of hours a day of driving a truck, man, and, and um, they don't really teach these guys, like, the Smith defensive driving system. You can't drive these things like they're cars, man. You have to, you know, have a lot of space in. It takes about, you know, approximately 94 feet just to stop one of these things, man. So, uh... Listen, if you're going to be distracted behind the wheel, it happens to every single last one of us, man. Yo, slow down, man. Get down to like 35, 40 something miles an hour. Don't be doing 70 miles an hour and just, this is not a car, man. You can do severe damage, man. And as you see in this video, look at this over here, man. This is crazy. And what's going to happen is because you are a professional driver, I mean, they're going to hold you to a really, really high standard, man. Uh, you're going to get thrown in prison, man. You're going to do 7 to 10 years for vehicular manslaughter. Truck drivers to the pedal to the metal. People 
It's not too bad. I mean, as long as there's not that much traffic around, but you know, you have like a rush hour day and you're doing 68 and there's a lot of cars and, and some of these guys would say, well, I'm just going with the flow of traffic. No, you can't, you can't go with the flow of traffic actually driving a truck, man. You need to be going slower. You know, so if it's 55 and there's a lot of cars and everything around you, you need to be doing like 47 miles an hour. You see what I'm saying? This guy's a minute that he's actually distracted and he's speeding while actually doing it, trying to find something. I mean, this is some of the most like craziest things I'm actually hearing over here, man. You got to slow down. I mean, I get distracted too, you know, but I'm not going to do 40 or 50 miles an hour. I'm going to go less or I'm going to pull over. I mean, if you're trying to find something, you know, I got to blame the electronic logs and everything, man. I mean, you know, they're like really like the big brother you know, they have like, if you're a casual to this, and there's, there's a certain amount of uh, hours you can actually drive as a truck driver or even a bus operator too. And, uh, you know, these things really kind of monitor you, you know, in terms of how long you're actually physically driving for. And it doesn't really account for traffic, getting stuck in traffic and a lot of car accidents out there, which, which actually really does happen over there, man. And so, um... You know, generally, you know, like an over-the-road truck driver want to, would definitely want to try to get 600 miles in one day. You know, but if you get stuck in an accident, I mean, that could really severely limit you right there. So, um, I don't know what to even say here, but let me just finish this. Yeah, definitely following too closely, man. I mean, in the New York City area, you can go on 95. You'll see tractor trailers actually following too closely. One time I was on 95 North on the Cross Bronx Expressway. I had a truck driver like literally right on my ass, man. I mean, he was so close. And it was one of these big rigs that you actually see in the background there. I mean, I couldn't even see my mirrors. I was trying to merge and get out of his way. I might, and I had my, um, my son at the time. He was about two years old. I'm like, dude... You know, you're lucky that he was in the car, man, because, um, you know, I had one of those, you know, my 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee right there, man, which actually has the gas tank in the rear, you know, similar to what the Ford Pinto was. And so if somebody actually hits you uh, in, in the rear, even at 20, 25 miles an hour with that particular SUV, I mean, the car can actually, you know, explode. You know, so I was just, like, really, really upset about that. I mean, these guys, you know, the guy was, like, right on my ass, man. Like, really, really that close. Really that close. So, again, like, you guys got to drive these things. You got to allow for a lot of space, you know. You drive, you know, like, I see, like I said, I see trucks following cars this closely, man. You know, um, you know, like I said, you're trained. You're supposedly trained to. All right, let me finish the video. Yeah, that's not going to stop a truck in time if it's imminent, you know. Yeah, I would say, like, you have three car limbs, two car limbs that can alert the driver. But, I mean, and it's hard, man. You guys, <laughs> you know, you got, as a truck driver, you're doing, like, 60, you know, like 600 miles a day. You're on the highway, you know, and a lot of times... I mean, it can get pretty boring, man, you know, doing cross-country driving. I mean, I did it before. I mean, and, you know, back then, when I first started, it was in 1999 to 2002. I mean, it wasn't much distractions or anything like that now, you know, but it was boring, you know, just being on that highway. And But um, today, there's a lot more distractions with the phones. You see one 
truck driver. I think they got he 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 uh wound up deleting someone and and uh, he was on TikTok and yeah man um yeah I don't you know I'm just trying to like really come up with some type of a uh, um final thoughts or anything like that but yeah you guys you know really learn how to really use a smith defensive driving system right there you know always leave yourself an out man spacing is everything uh yeah leave yourself an out meaning that sometimes you're not going to actually be able to bring the truck or a bus to a complete stop and you actually need to get over into another lane safely to do so uh i, I mean hopefully I'll probably do more videos on this and try to get more driving education out there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens over here, man. Hopefully, this, this stuff actually gets out there to the truck and masses. I'll wrap this video up. If you definitely like the video, absolutely smash that like button. Certainly hit the subscribe button and uh, share, the, share the video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.